Hi, I'm Sarah from Arenga Capital Research. Summing up on the week's, uh, the week's market, the bulls continued trading downwards until midweek, snapping its eight days of solid losses to recover 117.64 points on the back of expectations for a corporate-friendly budget. Thursday's abrupt uh, rebound prevented the ASPI from falling below its 6,000 mark. The two-day run in the green assisted the SPI to trim down its weekly loss to 191.95 points at its, clo- at its close of 6,140.52 points, whilst the Milanka fell 302.3 points week on week. Early week's market saw some value investors prowling on fundamentally strong counters, which were trading at their lowest price levels in tandem with the market stumps. With the margin call rush slowing down, the market regained, paving uh, way for the low to mid cap counters to assist them in uh, pre- uh, setting off some of the previous losses. Investors regained some hope, but still, but was still found to be moving on a cautious note, despite the turnover levels crossing the one billion mark on Friday. After nine trading sessions. Total turnover for the week was 4.5 billion, whilst the total weekly volume stood at 325.5 million. Lanka Wall Tiles topped the total turnover uh, list for the week after the strategic stake of 10% on Friday. John Keyes Holdings, SoftLogic Holdings, HVA Foods, Columbo Land, and Blue Diamonds followed. Total foreign purchases for the week was 259.9 million rupees, while the total foreign sales stood at 608.2. The net off for the week was a a foreign outflow of 348.3 million. Adding further, Nestle, Royal Ceramics, Browns and Company, LOLC, Bukit Dara, Carson's, and uh, Ceylon Brewery saw some qu- quiet accumulation during the week. Among the banking sector counters, Sampad Bank, Hester National Bank's non-voting shares, NDB Ceylon Bank and the voting and non-voting shares of Commercial Bank saw some active participation. HVA, Colombo Land and Development, Pyramid Glass, e-channeling, Pan-Asian Power and the no- voting and non-voting shares of Blue Diamonds were top the retailers' favorite picks for the week. Um, commenting on the presentation of the budget for 2012, on Monday, uh, Overseas Reality and Lanka IOC have proposed to increase the percentage of uh, unabsorbed VAT as at December 31st December 2010 to be set off from 5% to at least 10%, whilst also reducing the property tax. Pyramal Glass also had proposed had also proposed to introduce concessions for backward integration for manufacture of raw materials to substitute imports and allocate land for legal mining uh, for industries using natural resources, resources such as kaolin and silica as raw materials in their manufacturing. September's budget proposal also requested for a further deduction in the corporate and personal taxation.